I figure I'd get a shot of my peach tree, the blooms on it, before they get knocked off. Blooming good. We've got a few little bees out. Might have some peaches this year. But look what's coming. We've got a storm coming. I planted a couple plum trees this year too. I figured we'd get some plums. But a couple different varieties. Flowers blooming there. Pear tree, a couple apple trees. But I'll do my hoop house here in a little bit. I'll do it tomorrow. But I just wanted to get a shot of the, the plum tree or peach tree before the uh, storm knocks all the blooms off. Yeah, might as well do a little more here while I'm at it. Got some uh, that black uh, oh shoot, black kale, lacinato kale, dinosaur kale, whatever you call it. Got a few collards in there. Got some collards coming up here and some uh, kohlrabi. Got some beets popping up. Yep. Leftover onions from last year. Radishes. A little lettuce. And Rob Bob, uh, look here, buddy. This is Pappy's aquaponics. I didn't even cut my cage. Cut my plastic. Took my bars, turned my bars over there. From the top, that top hole there, moved the bars down there, re-drilled it, moved it down there. Cut the plastic, rested on there. I went around, put some holes in, put some wire ties on, there's my peppers. Put some uh, lava rock in there. Working good. See in there, I got some uh, bluegills and koi. Maybe about a dozen decent bluegills in there. Some big koi in there out of the pond. But, uh, you're working good. I got, uh, more lettuce planted in there. It's coming up out of the, out of the rocks. I got rock wool in a few places. But, uh, yeah, siphon's working fine. We're on about a 20 minute cycle. I like it. Works good. So I thought I'd show you my peppers and stuff. We got a hailstorm coming. They may not be like that when it gets done. Rain barrels. Well, tubers, I'll finish this up with a shop, the hoop house tomorrow. Okay, here's the uh, hoop house. I'm getting my stuff ready to put it outside here pretty quick. There's some sweet potatoes. That's from last year. It didn't want to die out, so I'm going to use it for starts. This is another variety. A couple. That's a lacinato kale. Another one back here. Got some nasturtiums. Strawberries coming on. Lettuce is uh, that's butter crunch. I just watered it down. It's collapsed over. I'm getting ready to pick some. There's some uh, red sails we've been eating on. Got some spinach I'm getting ready to pick. My tomatoes, Cherokee chocolate, seeds I saved from last year. Got some collards, got to go outside. Snail's been liking them, the slugs. I've been picking on this spinach. We'll get another cutting or two and then I'm going to clean it out, get ready for my tomatoes in my hoop house that's my Aunt Millie's German Green some seed from last year I saved you guys might have seen them I got one plant here for seed this year it's a uh, black crim I've never raised it before but I'm I'm liking these black tomatoes pretty good uh, the varieties are really tasty that I've had. Between them and the Aunt Mellie's Green, I'm uh, a big believer. There's a couple of my red that I saved from last year. My red brandy wine. There, they'll be all right. Some more green. These are uh, a pink brandy wine. 
We have marigolds. Strawberries still gone. Petunias, those things, they grow slow. They sure have small seed. Anyway, well, here's a, a fig. That's a black mission fig. Getting into those a little bit. Here's some other figs. But uh, that there's a palm. The tubers, that's about it. My battery's getting low. Kale from last year, getting ready to come out. More tomatoes down there. That's going to do it for now. So, talk to you all later.